The cuts they start with are called trimmings, pieces of meat left over from cutting steaks or pork chops. The trimmings are ground the same way butchers chop up hamburger meat, by pushing the cuts through grated metal plates. Processed chicken trimmings are added to the ground meat, followed by food starch, salt, and other flavorings. These flavorings vary depending on where the hot dogs are to be sold, because people in different regions have different tastes. Water is sprayed into the mix, and everything is blended together in a big vat. Corn syrup adds a dash of sweetness. The addition of even more water helps to disperse the ingredients and make the hot dogs juicier. Another machine then purees the meat batter into a fine emulsion and vacuums out any air. Long rolls of cellulose tubing are loaded into the stuffing machine. It pumps the meat puree into these casings, twisting it every five and a quarter inches, the length of one hot dog. It takes just 35 seconds to make a chain of hot dogs that would span a soccer field twice. Then, Three of those hot dog chains are linked together to make an even longer string, and they're loaded several at a time into another machine which drapes the hot dogs onto moving racks. The process is carefully timed so that a twist always lands on the bar. The racks shunt the hot dogs through a liquid smoke shower, then into an oven with several cooking zones. The liquid smoke seeps through the casing and adds flavor to the dogs as they bake. Hot out of the oven, these franks are drenched in cold, salty water to chill them in preparation for packaging. The hot dogs then file down to an unloading zone. 